With a population of 153 million, Bangladesh is one of the most densely populated countries in the world. It's also one of the poorest, with most people surviving on less than one pound a day. Natural disaster is an ever-present threat, with water making up a fifth of the landmass and seasonal flooding cutting off thousands of villages. Infrastructure is poor or non-existent, there is no electricity or telephone, and for many, the nearest clinic is hours away. To most, education is a dream. During the five months of monsoon, one third of the country goes under water and children cannot attend to school. I thought if the children cannot go to school, then the school should go to them. Founded by Mohammed Rezwan, the NGO Shidulai Chwaniwa Shangsta has come up with a novel solution and adapted local boats into classrooms so that those living in remote villages can study day or night. In Bangladesh, the religious and cultural barriers prevent women to get education and training outside of their villages. Therefore, we have targeted the women groups for our education and training program. When I grew up, my parents were reluctant to send me to school as the school was far away. Because of the river crossings and lack of transport, it was very difficult to get there, so my parents did not allow me to go. We are happy to see our children attending classes. The education is good. The children are also happy. I like to study here. The teaching is good and that is why I come to this school. Also at Doxatar village. I want to be a doctor. We started with one boat school. Then considering the need of the people at the riverside areas, we had to increase the number of boats. Now we have 88 boats for boat schools, libraries, and training centers, uh, along with uh, other activities. For the first time in their lives, rural Bangladeshis have the chance of an education, something they could only dream of before the arrival of these library boats. The benefits are already being felt. <laughs> The women of our country face different types of barriers, social, religious and family. This is the main reason we cannot get education and training, and we cannot make ourselves self-reliant. After this library came to our village, we started to believe in ourselves, and we are able to overcome all the barriers. Those who couldn't buy books before, it caused them a problem with their education and they left school. Now we can get the books from this library. The boats use solar power and mobile technology to provide internet access and training to thousands of rural residents. Through video conference I'm learning things that were unknown to me. The development in crops, I am getting an increased yield, more income and helping the environment. As well as the online assistants, volunteers run training sessions on the banks of the villages, which gives women with young families the chance of attending. I've learned environment-friendly agricultural practice from this boat, and I don't use pesticides anymore, and it's helped me get a better income. Female members are coming to the agriculture, taking control of their own land. Nowadays, their husband, husbands are listening to them. Uh, they are involved in the decision-making process of their own families. Just 30% of Bangladeshi villages receive electricity. The project is also providing free electric lights powered by solar energy. Before, we used a kerosene lamp which cost us 130 taka each week. Now we are using this new lamp and it's a great benefit. With the money saved, I buy thread and needles to sew blankets, which I sell in the market. From the sale of the blankets, I can pay for the education of my children and also buy cows. The uniqueness of our approach is the simplicity. We are not providing the solar panel to the beneficiaries, but we are providing batteries and lamp. The charge it on our boats. As the project builds trust with the community, other appropriate technologies can be introduced, like this locally made bicycle water pump. This pump has changed my life. Before I only got one crop a year. Now I get three or four crops a year and it's increased my income. We are reaching around 80,000 families, so it means around 
half a million people. Our project is mainly focused on education and improving livelihoods of rural people, but at the same time it is reducing the carbon dioxide emissions.